So that's three inches of water, approximately, out of this tank. Only three inches of water from all the way around this tank. And it has drained out loads of water. You can see I've filled all these buckets. This will hopefully last for my vegetables for the coming week when it's dry. These two water containers, this bin here, this water container, this bin, and now it's filling up this bin. So once this bin is filled, it's just gonna overflow into here. And we have a very mysterious drainage system. This can flood here, but then it drains out. There's some sort of hollow underneath. We're in limestone country, so it drains out under here. Or if it overflows, it comes over here and drains out here. There's, see, I've got water containers, water barrels everywhere. I'm always getting containers for water. These are all my seedlings and cuttings from the last few years. This is a young oak that is my niece's. I planted the acorn the year she was born. And another water container. So here's hydrangeas from last year. And this is a walnut tree that I grew from a walnut. This is two years old. There's some rose cuttings. So I'm always trying to use rainwater for plants because they much prefer it to tap water. So this is my preservation. The animals also prefer it. Look, the kitten. All the animals have been drinking out of these buckets and containers as they fill up. Not good for human consumption because there's all kinds of bacterias and the fish are shitting in it and all kinds of things like that. And if you look in this bucket here, you can see loads of little larvae, insect larvae. So you don't want those to drink those as a human being. Our immune system is not strong enough for that. Whereas the cats and dogs have been drinking all this water like crazy and loving it, as you can see. Mustard is drinking like crazy. It's saying yum, 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 rainwater. So much nicer than tap water. Isn't that right, kitty? Clever kitty. <laughs>